Hi, and welcome to part 4 of Blitz Basic Programming for Beginners. Uh, in part 3, we looked at how to load an object onto the screen, how to move that object across the screen uh, using a for loop. Uh, first thing you'll notice here is I've actually commented all the code now, uh, which is something I said at the start of the tutorials, which I don't, which I haven't been keeping up. So I'm going to try and be good from now on and keep things commented so you can clearly see what each line of code does. Um, we used a for loop in the last code, last session, which just updates the x position of the uh, object from 50 where it was starting, and added up to 300 on that, and then ended the program at the end of that loop. What we're going to be doing first of all, uh, I'm going to be going quite quickly through this because we're adding quite a few things through this this session. Obviously, you can skip back over th over this and download the source code and media files with this um, using the link on the right hand side of this video. So, first thing I've done is replace the uh, object that we were drawing to the screen with a better image. This is just a basic picture of a ship that I've drawn. So, I'll be replacing object.png with ship. PNG and it will make sense to change ing object to be ing ship to reference it as well as when we draw it just so we know what it is we're actually drawing. We still draw it as using the same coordinates but we're going to change them coordinates so it starts in the middle of the screen. Now remembering our screen is 640 by 480 pixels so the middle will be 320 and towards the bottom of the screen, because it's going to be a space invaders type game, we'll put Y is 400, remembering that Y starts at 0 at the top of the screen, goes down to 480 at the bottom. Obviously that's different depending on what screen resolution you're running in. Now because we don't want the game to just simply count up to 300 and quit, we want it to keep looping round now, because we're going to be controlling where the ship is, uh, we're going to change the for loop into something called a while loop. What I've used here, uh, a while loop basically checks to see if a certain statement is true. And if that statement is true, then it keeps going through the loop. Uh, a while loop has an end, just how a for loop uses next to go around to the next loop. While uses wind, which is while end. And that just goes back up to the while statement to see if it's still true. And if it is, then runs through all the code under the while statement here. Not key down one, uh, which is a statement I'm passing it, checks to see whether or not key 1 is being held down. If it's not being held down, then that statement is true and it continues through the loop. Keys on the keyboard are all numbered using something called scan codes. If you go to help at the top left, click on command reference, then click on scan codes pickup. You'll be shown a picture of your keyboard. Now if I press the escape key here with the mouse, I'll see it's got a scan code of 1, which is the key that I'm checking for. So my program will quit that main loop if I press the escape key at any point while the, while the program is running. We're, for this tutorial, we're going to be using left and right cursor keys and the spacebar. So the left cursor key is 203, the right one is 205, and the spacebar is 57. So returning into here, when I draw my, pitch, my player to the screen, after that I update the player's position. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way around you do this in your game. Some people draw the graphics first, then update, so update and then draw. It doesn't matter so much. Um, we're going to get rid of the x equals 50 plus z because that's part of our old for loop and replace that with something called an if then command. All if then does is it checks if something's true and if it is then it does what you write after the word then. Makes more sense in a moment. So I'm going to say if key down 203, which is the left cursor key, then x equals x minus 3, which literally means that if I'm holding down the left cursor key, then move the x coordinate of the ship to the left by minusing 3 from it. Then I'm going to say if key down 205, then x equals x plus 3 to move to the right. Obviously, if I held down both keys at the same time, the ship will just move nowhere, it will just add 3 and minus 3 at the same time. Something else we need to introduce now is something called timer code. What this means is that the game will run at the same speed on any computer that you run it on, no matter whether or not, no matter how fast the screen refreshes on that computer, which at the moment is how fast this runs at. So my, my laptop here is refreshing at 60 frames a second on the monitor, but you may have a monitor running 85 or even 120 um, frames per second. So to get the game running at a constant speed, Blitz has something called timer code which you can use with the create timer 
function and I'm going to make it run at 30 frames a second and I'm going to just go call it timer and then comment it so create timer and then how, how many times a second you want it to run it and assign that to the name of your timer and then just before the flip command you would put in the command wait timer and the name of the timer now if I run this code you'll see I've now got my ship object which will move left and right as I use the cursor keys so we now have our first part of user control in the game the next thing we want to do is, is in introduce bullets so we can fire bullets up the screen now because you have more than one bullet on the screen at one time we'll be using something called types in blitz. A type is a way of specifying a template for, a, for an object. An object is just, so, is just something that has some properties to it. This will make more sense when I actually start to specify it. So if I specify a type for a, um, for a bullet, and we just use the word type, what it, what it is, and the properties of types are specified as fields. So I just want an x and y coordinate for each bullet and end type so that I finished. That's all there is at the moment to specifying types. So if I go down into the main game loop, what I want to do is put another if command in for firing bullets. So I'm going to say if key hit 57, which is the spacebar, then, and now I have more than one line I need to write now after the Z, after the uh, then, so I put some spaces under that, put end if to specify the end of the block and then write in here what I actually want to do, so in this block here same as when you write a loop, like a while loop, everything goes inside up to the wind so if you have more than one thing to do after then then you put a block with end if at the end of it so I'm going to say b bullet equals new bullet that's where specifying an, a new object made from the bullet template so I can't call them bullets because bullet is the name of the actual template I'm, I'm you know, cutting this object from. So I'm just going to call them all B. So Blitz will create a list of objects all referred to as B and it will cycle through these objects on their own. So it doesn't matter that they're all called B because you don't need to specify, you don't need to individually reference them. I then get to the properties of it using a backslash. So I'm going to say BX, specify where the bullet starts on the X as being X, which is where our ship is, and BY to be Y but minus 5 pixels because I want the bullet to start just above the ship at the nose of the ship not from the middle of the ship just so it looks more realistic and that's it next step is to then cycle through our bullets update them Oops. and draw them This is done using for b of type bullet equals each bullet, and then next, just like the end of a for loop, and I'm going to say b y equals b y minus five. So it will move each bullet out of the screen by five pixels each time. Obviously, b x doesn't change because it's just moving up. Then I'm going to say if b y equals less than zero, then delete b that so that it deletes the bullet once it moves off the top of the screen. I draw the bullet, IMG bullet, which I'll load in a moment, at BX, BY, and I'll load the image here, IMG bullet equals load image, bullet.png. That's it, so I run the code move my ship left and right and I press spacebar it draws bullets however it draws it slightly off so I need to use something called mid handle which will then draw the image of the ship from the middle rather than the top left which is what it's doing now so if I introduce that command now which I will explain more in the tutorial run this my bullets now show from the centre of the ship and that's the end of this session.